Uh, open source reporting indicates that uh, Israel has uh, launched a counterattack against Iran in response to the unprecedented aerial assault that Iran launched on Israel over the weekend. Uh, reports are coming in uh, a lot to be clarified, uh, but it does appear that this was a limited strike uh, intended to demonstrate uh, that Israel has the ability to attack inside Iran uh, and hit fairly sensitive targets. Iranian state media uh, has uh, seemed to downplay uh, the attack, uh, saying that uh, a number of small drones have been intercepted by Iranian air defense over Isfahan. Uh, that seems to indicate that Iran is seeking to step down off the ledge, minimize uh, the uh, impact of the attack, uh, and perhaps walk back down the escal escalation ladder from here. It's uh, clearly understood what occurred uh, by decision makers in Iran, and uh, they'll have a choice now of whether they want to uh, continue to advance this conflict upward or uh, sort of return to a lower level of uh, back and forth, uh, which it had previously been engaged in for some time previously. There are a host of targets uh, Israel could have hit in Iran in the vicinity of Isfahan to include uh, some nuclear research laboratories. Uh, the Natanz nuclear facility uh, is nearby, uh, as well as production facilities for uh, drones and other advanced uh, ballistic missile capabilities. Uh, they chose this target uh, probably because it was none of those and could demonstrate while Israel reserves the right to strike those more sensitive targets, uh, they weren't going to do that this evening. Uh, to use a baseball an analogy, I would call this a, a fastball up and inside to brush the batter back, uh, but uh, uh, not necessarily intended to actually hit the batter tonight.